guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina, and tonight I have, or today, or this afternoon, or whenever the mood strikes you to watch a long haul, you might have to pause me and play me at many intervals, but however you get through this haul, we're going to get through it together, because it's a big one, guys. I have just been finding the craziest things at the Dollar Tree, and I'm totally excited about it. I do want to share these limited time only Pringles Wavy Melted Pub Cheese Chips. I may or may not have already hauled them, but I did rebuy them because the boys love them. They actually have a little bit of a beer, like a beer aftertaste to them. They definitely have an interesting taste. It's almost like they took cheese and mixed it with beer and put it on Pringles. That's what it reminds me of. But the boys love it. They think it's delicious. And uh, I picked up like three more of them because it is a limited time only uh, wavy melted pub cheese flavor. I highly doubt that we'll ever see these again because Pringles probably won't make them again. So if you love these, get a few now. Um, I don't know when they expire, but they're not going to last October 15th. 2022. These will be gone before that. The next thing that I want to share with you guys, I want to get it shared and done with so that I can just glue it all together and hang it on my door. Because I really did put, for a little while, the wreath that I bought at Big Lots on my door and I stuck a couple hearts in it because I just was sad to put it away. So I have this really beautiful, you know, it's like a grapevine wreath, but it has tons and tons of cranberries. And from year to year, sometimes I use it at Christmas, sometimes I use it at Valentine's. I just love the red. It makes me super happy. So I'm going to um, use double-sided tape and put this gnome, or actually I might tie him in from the hole. That way I won't ruin the wreath. I don't want to ruin this wreath or wire. Any one of those will work. But then I am going to be gluing. See how the gnome's nose and it already has this little hands. I don't love that. So what I'm going to do is I feel like I feel like it's not big enough for a wreath and I don't want to do anything else to the wreath other than that. So I'm going to put this in here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um glue this to it like he's bringing me this huge love wreath, but I'm going to make sure his mustache is still sticking out. And I think that's so cute. Like the gnome is bringing me this big galvanized metal heart and I'm going to hang it on the door. Isn't that adorable? He's very, very cute. I could even actually cut him in half so that the beard part is sticking out. Oh, I, I might do that. Yeah, I might do that. Cut him in half and then glue like the mustache part up here and then the foot part down there. Super easy peasy one. That's an easy Marina DIY. And I'm totally loving the big heart because I feel like that's just not big enough to put on the wreath and hang it on the door. It's just not big enough. And I did pick up the pink one for a friend of mine that really loves this because um, she actually was like, I haven't seen it anywhere. And I was like, I've seen it. I'll get it for you. Doesn't this gnome look so cute with my pink valentine tree that's really adorable so i have to admit that i found these like over maybe almost two weeks ago um and they weren't in the same store i've seen people hauling them for a while but i just wasn't lucky enough to strike while the iron was hot i did show them in my walkthroughs though if you want to know what's new at the dollar tree in these here parts you need to watch my walkthroughs because it does take me a while to get to hauling but I definitely shop on a regular basis. Um, I did pick up the strawberry banana because, I mean, who doesn't like strawberry banana? Everybody does. And it's Quaker. You get six packages for $1.25. Um, I think it's a good deal. And s'mores it sounds really good. So I definitely picked up one of each of these. The next thing that I picked up um, is this movie, and it's called The Double. It's a Magnolia Films movie, but what really got me to pay attention to it was that it says stylish and darkly funny. I love movies that have dark humor in them. And I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever seen this movie. Uh, I can't for the life of me see what year it came out. Not even a little. 
if I can actually find out when it was made, if I could see it later, then I'll write up top when it was made. But what got me is that it's a movie about a guy who's like shy and doesn't really go out of his way to do much in his life, who comes across some other guy who is his exact double. And that person is like bold and confident. And it says all kinds of confident, charismatic and good with women um, to Simon's horror. Simon is the kind of boring guy. Uh, James slowly starts taking over his life. That sounds like a good, strange kind of movie that I would actually enjoy. So I love getting movies at the Dollar Tree. There were some interesting food finds at the Dollar Tree that I thought I would pick up. By Kitchen Fixins, I did see these crispy jalapenos add to tostadas, tacos, burgers, hot dog salads, and more. And we're actually going to be having nachos tonight. So these crispy jalapenos might be delicious on top of some nachos. Let's let's see what they're like. It's in a resealable pouch. Are they really jalapenos? Yeah, they're like jalapenos breaded and fried. They're really minuscule. Let's see if I can get more than a crumb. Okay, so there's, oh my gosh, look at that. That's, I hope it's not crazy spicy. That is awesome to put on top of a salad. Ooh, they have a bit of a kick. A little bit more than a bit. Those have some kick, guys. Ooh, those are a little spicy, but definitely would go good on top of nachos with some sour cream. That's what's for dinner tonight. I made um, really exciting, like, chopped meat in, like, a Mexican-style way with, like, salsa in it. We're going to have them on top of some Dollar Tree tortilla chips, some shredded cheese, a little bit of jalapenos, and a dollop of sour cream, and a few avocado wedges. Perfect dinner. Um, they may not want the avocado wedges, but I kind of love the avocado part. And then... Um, I did, I've never seen these before. Can I just tell you guys that I was so happy to see these because I love, love Asian salad. And it's kind of like this is the best part of the Asian salad and of course the dressing. But Aldi's now sells the Asian dressing on its own. So I've been buying like the shredded cabbage like mix kind of salad, even like coleslaw salad. And I chop tomatoes up into it and cucumbers and mix in the Aldi's um, Asian dressing. And now with the wonton strips, it's so much cheaper than, because those bags are like four or three, three seventy nine dollars a bag. It's so much cheaper to get the coleslaw mix and kind of make your own Asian salad with the wonton strips and some scallions, tomatoes, cucumber. They don't really usually use cucumber in the Asian salad, but I like it. And it kind of goes, and it definitely tastes good with the Asian dressing. So it's way cheaper and so much cost effective, so much more cost effective to use the Kitchen Fixins wonton strips. I'm so psyched that they have these. That's like my favorite type of salad. These were new to me and I don't actually even know if they're a good deal. I pretty much have my whole entire life only bought things like this really at the Dollar Tree um, or sometimes at Target if they're on sale, but I don't really buy cake mixes and things like that. I usually go to a bakery and get them or pick them up like in the bakery department of the store. I'm not a baker, but I have come to, ever since the pandemic happened, appreciate having things like this in my pantry. And I think it makes six muffins and all I have to do is add, um, water or milk. So if I don't have milk, I can still have some kind of eh, not so delicious muffin. I'm assuming milk makes it better. But as the world is right now, I could get my hands on bananas and walnuts. And you can kind of doctor these up because, you know, the mix is already there, but you can add fresh bananas and add some walnuts, which they even have walnuts at the Dollar Tree, but I get my walnuts at BJ's. It's a better deal, and I keep them in the freezer so they don't go rancid because there's nothing worse than rancid nuts, but um, I don't mean, but you guys know what I mean. Like, that's rancid is when the oils in the nuts go bad, um, 
and nobody likes rancid nuts, but I'm not going to get, I can just imagine the premiere of this video. Everyone is going to have their minds in the gutter, but I really, I'm actually serious. Like, um, I always buy nuts and keep them in the freezer until I want to use them. Like, unless I'm getting pat bags of nuts, like peanuts and stuff for snacks, those go quick around here. We always snack on like peanuts and almonds. They're really good for you. I love some people say that peanuts aren't good for you, but I happen to love peanuts like fresh peanuts. I love and uh, even the ones in the shell. I love those too. pistachios. Remember when pistachios had that, I guess, toxic red paint on them and they would make your fingers red. I love I used to love those more. They tasted better. Why did they stop that? Why can't you get those red pistachios anymore? I'm just wondering, like, why is it is it the dye was really bad for you? I guess it's stupid to dye them, but they were really pretty. Well, I, I digress. The point is you can add some more stuff to these. Or even if you happen to have some blueberries, throw some blueberry. Blueberry banana nut muffins will be delicious. But, you know, for a buck and a quarter, I did think about it. But I was like, it's kind of cool because it's just six muffins. It's like perfect to make like one little tray of muffins for breakfast and then not have extra, you know, these are not huge muffins. They come out like pretty small. You usually eat two and it's like a nice little Sunday morning or Saturday morning breakfast. And I think for $1.25, it's a good deal. So these are not a good deal. I've seen the giant size of this for like five bucks. But the thing is that if I get a giant bag of it, I'm going to eat a giant bag of it. So I don't know if BJ's has, has like individual sized bags of these in bulk. I have to check because these are really good. I actually cannot believe that these drizzlicious. First of all, anything you add the word delicious to the end of it, like Dollar Tree delicious, I love it. Um, like Michelle, who is one of the subscribers here at Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict, she taught me the term Dollar Tree Stas, and I love that term. But anything that is fantabulous or delicious makes me happy. So salted caramel bites by Drizzlicious, of course I was going to like it. But you guys, these have um, chia, quinoa, and flax in them. They really can't, and they, they taste, these taste like they're made from the fluffy tips of angel wings. They're just like fluffy, happy little moments in your mouth. It's like crazy. They don't taste like, they don't taste like Rice Krispies and they, I don't know. They're like sweet. They can't possibly be good for you. They're not good for you, but they're not horrible for you either. They are one bag is 180 calories because there's actually two. Oh, yo, wow. Guess what? They bamboozled us. Okay, so it says that they're 90 calories for 21 pieces. But upon further investigation, I'm a little bit disturbed right now. So on the back, on the nutritional facts, when you read them, this bag is one serving, but these Drizzlicious are not healthalicious. This very little, little bag is 180 calories for pretty much half a rice cake. I'll show you guys a picture of how small they are. They are really delicious though. So... I don't know. I'm sure that there are probably healthier. They're non-GMO. They are really yummy. I don't know what I'm going to say about them, but they're salted caramel bites and birthday cake bites. I do feel like they're lying though, because it says 90 calories. I didn't read the fine print. And when I ate the whole bag with the greatest of ease, might I add, um, I thought I was eating one serving and I was like, huh, that's pretty good for well, I can't talk about these anymore, but they are really good. I do feel like they lied to me, but see right there where it says only 90 calories per 21 pieces. Nobody's going to count how many pieces they're eating. At least 
I'm busy chewing. I wasn't counting. I, I'm really, really upset right now because that, but it's 180, whatever it is. But you know, like they always say that if you can get your snack to be less than 100 calories, then that's like not bad. Like, I think that's the Weight Watchers rule. I don't know. It's in one of the diets or fads that I tried somewhere along the line that got me here, guys. But whatever. These are two servings if you go by this. So that's not much. To eat 22 pieces, I don't know, guys. They are really good, though. Let me know what you guys think of them if you've tasted them because they do taste pretty darn good. By the brand Offre, I picked up all of these rolls of ribbon because they are truly gorgeous. Now, let me show you guys what they are. There's this beautiful, beautiful one with all these really pretty. It's such a pretty Easter ribbon. And it's one and a half inch ribbon. This does not have wire in it. It's by Offre. It's grow grain ribbon. Really, really nice, nice quality ribbon. And I think it's really gorgeous, super gorgeous. This ribbon right here is the perfect ribbon to doll up our Easter bunnies with um, that I don't have here with me right now. But isn't that so cute to like put around their neck, and make like a little bow or like a little bow tie. Then I did pick up two rolls of this really pretty with flowers ribbon that says Happy Easter. And this one does have wire. That's what it says there. It says wired cable. I think it says it in Spanish as well. But um, this ribbon is just super pretty. And I'm going to be sending some of this to a friend as well. And then, of course, the ribbon of choice. Look at how pretty the bunny butt. I love bunny butt pics. I really do. And I can't lie because um, that's like how Olivia from Olivia's Romantic Home says, I love big bows and I cannot lie. Well, I love bunny butts and I can't lie. I think it's so cute when they do that. And the bunny's butt is sticking out of the back of this blue truck. My, my, my dog is crying at the door because she thinks somebody's out there, but there's nobody there. It's just the wind. I really love the polka dot tipping on either end. And I don't think this one is wired. Nope. The ones that are wired have the black writing and the ones that are not wired do not have it. I did pick up extra probably at the end of the day. These are the ones that I'm keeping. And then I'm going to be putting some in an Easter related giveaway and some to a friend. That's why I bought so much ribbon. I'm, I'm not becoming like a super Easter crafter. Look, doesn't he already look so much better with that gingham ribbon around his neck? Super cute. And now the girl needs to get dolled up as well, but she's going to get flowers around her ears. I just think it's so cute, that ribbon. I love it. I did pick up this book, How to Shine a Shoe, A Gentleman's Guide to Choosing, Wearing, and Caring for Top Shelf Styles. It's very strangely entertaining. It's like how to get dressed if you're a man for dummies, almost. But it's done in this really campy kind of way. Like, okay, so it'll say trousers. So if you're going to wear trousers today, it says yes to Oxfords, Derbies, loafers, monk straps, Chelsea boots, and sneakers. And in the beginning of the book, it shows you what all of those shoes look like. And then... It says, proceed with caution, work boots, meaning you are about to make a fashion faux pas. And then pro tips, wearing a pair of trousers is a great place to let your derbies shine. It's what they're made for. So that is what derbies are, you know, like shoes that have the buckles. I don't know. This book is very cute. It is a really cute gift, and that's what I picked it up for. Here is um, what to wear with a suit, right? So it says, yes to Oxfords, Derbies, and loafers. No to, there's a no section in this one. No to work boots. Proceed with caution. Chuck a boots, Chelsea boots, and sneakers. So, and then it shows you like men wearing suits and sneakers. I don't know. I just think it's really cute. I feel like this is a really nice uh, Father's Day gift to someone who, like a man who really likes to dress. And there are some out there who do. 
Uh, but I feel like it'll be even more entertaining to his wife because I feel like this book is definitely going to get read by every wife and mother that um, gets this book gifted to their husbands for Father's Day. It's just done in a way where women will find it amusing. Men, I mean, I think men probably will find it amusing too if they bother to read it. But this is definitely like a campy version of a how-to for how to shine your shoe amongst other man style things. So I just think it's really funny. By this brand, Comfort Wash, I picked up three more. See that? These are the most comfortable cotton, long sleeve. This color is so beautiful. I bought them in the size extra large. I just, the boys sleep in them or wear them to school or whatever, but they're really a great buy at $1.25. So I'm really happy to get that. I was able to get a case of these, um, and I think that they're really nice little, like, Easter basket stuffers for kids to choose. This new style of dollhouse toys is just absolutely, like, lacy and adorable. So there's two bed choice colors, the teal and the white, or the white and the teal. Aren't those cute? Look at the little frame and the little sham with the ruffles. Super darling. And then they have a sofa. I feel like there was another color sofa. Um, I've, I've already dropped the case of the toys off. I just kept a few behind to share with you guys. But this is the part of the case that I love. Um, these. These are so beautiful. Actually, I, have, I bought a closed case. And I bought these extra pieces to show you guys. And then... When I do another drop-off, I'll just add it probably to another case if I find one. But how beautiful are the vanities? And they have the little vanity, like, and they have the little vanity chair. They're gorgeous. I love, love, love them. The only thing that I hate is that they could have splurged and just put, like, a piece of foil there or something so that it looked silver. It's a bummer that they didn't do that. That would have really taken it to a whole new level and... They didn't do that. You can put a like outliner or something metallic. You can, of course, fill it in yourself, but just a piece of foil would have worked. They could have done that, a foil sticker. Anyway, I think these are very cute. Little girls are going to absolutely go crazy for them. They're really adorable. I also picked up a ton of these because I think these are a fabulous buy. This one reminds me of Belle, uh, the Disney princess Belle. It's, I think she's supposed to be like a dupe. And then this one has princess-like dresses as well. They're not the same. They're the same colors, but they are not by any means the same dresses, nor are they the same hair or anything like that. So they're two completely different dolls. And I think it's really cute to get a couple of them for like $2.50. That's a cute little gift. Little girls will play with these. They're so cute and fun and versatile. Uh, I did show these in my walkthrough some time ago, and at this point, I have hunted down a few cases of these. They're new construction sets uh, that the Dollar Tree has put out by Make It Blocks, but I think they're great. They're great Easter basket stuffers. Most kids have building blocks, and they have all kinds of little worlds that they've created, and to be able to get little things like this to add into your little world, I think is a phenomenal find. Like the street corner, definitely a good little item. Even my son was interested in these. He was like, oh, those are cool little um, like accessory pieces or whatever he calls them. Like extra pieces in the little world. Like, look, you get a shovel. That's good in a zombie apocalypse. We all know they use shovels for like fighting zombies. He was so excited to see a shovel in these things. He was like, wow, those are cool. And this one is like a little moped and a street light. And I don't know what that little green box is, but I'm sure that kids will make all kinds of stuff out of it. And the back of each one is like a little scene, which they could actually like, you know, interactively build their stuff and either play on it or play in front of it. Kids use their imaginations. These actually, the way that they're packaging them now, I really dig it. It's like an extra little something. It's nothing, but it's still better than nothing. The way that they were printed before, it didn't give you the option of, you know, role-playing with the item. 
in in the with the box. It's kind of awesome. And then this one feels so full because it's actually a big, this is bigger than you would think it is. This one right here, the box itself is like heavy because the boulder is big and it's actually an impressive item to get for a buck and a quarter. Lego is definitely a lot more than a buck and a quarter. These are all fun little things to build. There's this one. It's like a cement mixer and again, a shovel. And lastly, we have the gas station and another moped. And see what I mean? Like, these are great. I think that they are great. I'm so happy I have a couple of cases of these. These are perfect for Easter. I picked up these notepads with gel pens in all three styles that they come in because they're really, really cute. Like, they are the cutest I think I've ever seen. And they come with a pen. It's like a perfect little gift. This one says happiness comes in waves. And um, me personally, I love the beach. So this is my favorite because happiness comes in waves of the ocean. And, you know, life is just a series of happy moments. If you can resonate in those happy moments, they will get you through all of the hard times that sometimes we have to, as humans, go through. So it's like really a profound item, I think. Happiness comes in waves. I just love that expression. I don't think I've ever seen Dollar Tree put this expression on anything before. And I just really like it. This one says Daydreamer. And it matches several other items. They made like makeup cases and all kinds of stuff. So if you've already collected all those other rainbow looking things, this is nice to add in. Um, again, it has that foil and it's, I think it's a hundred, there's a hundred sheets. They're nice fat notepads and they do have the metal binding at the top. And it's nice that they come with a gel pen. I just think for a dollar 25, you're definitely getting your money's worth. And then this one is the cutest reach for the stars. It's beautiful. It's really inspiring. Um, if someone, you know, is working on a goal, this is a perfect little $1.25 gift just to let them know that you see them and you see their struggles. It's beautiful. I did pick up another set of these paper plates, um, the 18-piece ones, because it's not even close to the end of February and I already went through the other couple of packs, but I think these paper plates are a good deal. $1.25, I know Dollar General and Family Dollar actually do have paper plates Really nice ones, same exact things in many cases for a dollar. But when I'm at the Dollar Tree, I have to admit, I'm not going to make a special trip just for paper plates. And when they're in front of me, I'm going to buy them at the dollar 25. I suspect that eventually Family Dollar and Dollar General are going to get rid of their dollar section and make it a dollar 25. I have a funny feeling that they're going to do that. But right now, it is still a dollar. Matter of fact, just today, DollarTree.com actually finally raised their prices from $1 to $1.25 because their website was still a dollar for everything. So you don't get a savings buying it online. But I have to admit, in, in things like this where I definitely need paper plates and it's not way cheaper in the other stores, I will get it at the Dollar Tree because they are really cute and I really do like having paper plates. In the instance of napkins, you guys know that I have napkin issues as well. Um, these Be Positive napkins are adorable, so adorable, but I will be honest and say that if that bumblebee was yellow and these napkins had like teal border and teal and yellow flowers of springtime going on, with that yellow bumblebee, oh my God, I would have loved these even more. But the sentiment of be positive is fantastic. So I absolutely love that. And then I really like these. I think these would be really beautiful to decoupage onto a candle. Like a regular Dollar Tree glass candle. That is like an easy peasy, super cute DIY or... A flower pot would it would re, it it would look really cute decoupaged onto a flower pot as well. It's just a really pretty print. It's really nice, and you get eighteen for a buck and a quarter. I love napkins, but 
this one is my favorite. I love the Be Positive, don't get me wrong, but it is all about the journey, and I love these colors. And this as well, it's already there for you. This whole thing right there is a candle. Decoupage this. That is definitely going to be happening. This will be part of my spring decor, you guys. This is a super easy one-stop DIY. Some Mod Podge and one of the glass candles and you're done. And those are gorgeous. This is kind of boring, but I have to say that I love the smell of this. This rosemary and mint deodorant smells wonderful. Cruelty free. It has no parabens, no phthalates, and no dyes. So it's a really, it's a very clean product and it smells incredibly well. And it actually works for an aluminum free deodorant. It actually works. So this is my favorite out of all the aluminum free products that the Dollar Tree's ever given us. This one happens to be the only one that actually works for me. So I really like it and I've been using it for a while. So guess what guys, I'm about to let you in on some crazy information. These candles right here, these two have great throw. So um, I actually rebought these. I bought them and didn't even haul them because I was like, ah, nobody wants to know about Dollar Tree candles. They don't have any throw anyway, but I buy them and use them. I, I always buy candles in these jars and I burn them and I enjoy them, but most of the time they do not have throw. I just enjoy having a candle burning and I do have other candles um, that do have good throw from like Walmart or Bath and Body Works. But I do like to buy extra to have like a lot of candles burning. It makes me happy. But um, this candle right here, Strawberry Shortcake, don't pass it up when you see it. It has good throw. It actually, I mean, okay, not a, we're not talking like $95 candle or even Bath and Body Works throw, but Dollar Tree candles don't have throw. So this strawberry shortcake candle has good throw. And this cinnamon spice candle definitely has good throw. It literally smells amazing when you open this jar. You can't believe how good it smells. And when you're burning it, you definitely smell it. And when you blow it out, you smell it even more. So I have to say these two are possibly the best candles I ever got at the Dollar Tree. And that is truly a shocker. This game right here called Mixed Emojis is a brand name product. Hoyle is the brand name. I just think this game is absolutely hilarious. It is uh, easy to play. It says flip over an emoji card. Say an example of a time when you felt that emotion. Collect the most cards to win. Now, I just find this game to be really amusing because some people are really not good at expressing their emotions. So you can really pull people's emotions out of them with this game. And I don't know, I enjoy doing that to people for some weird reason. I always have people telling me like their, their stuff and I'm just the type of person that brings that out in people. So I find this game to be really amusing. And let me show you guys. I think it's a really cute game. I actually feel like every married couple should have this game. And it's not just for kids. That's for sure. So there's two decks of mixed emojis right there. And the instructions are right here. Very cute. It's such a cute game. And... You guys, believe it or not, it actually comes with the little timer. So just, I think the timer alone, isn't it one timer for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree? So you get a whole game plus the timer. You can't beat that. And that's like, in my walkthrough, that's what I said. I was like, it, it has a timer in it. Right then and there, it's worth the, the money. Sometimes you need a timer with kids for like timeouts and stuff like that. And I just think that for a buck and a quarter, this is a fun little game. I definitely give this a thumbs up. I find it very, very entertaining. And then I couldn't resist buying this. I wish that they had it in like sky blue or something like that. But this is a really, really beautiful peachy rosé type of color. And I think that this would be absolutely great to either keep... I'm going to probably put my scissor bouquet in it because I literally have so many scissors. 
I use scissors for everything and I, I call it my scissor bouquet because it has like colorful handles of all sorts, but you can also use this for a makeup brush or a paintbrush vase. It's like the perfect size and it's really beautiful, but I plan to put my scissors in it and keep it on my counter. I just think it's a really beautiful vase actually. Um, you could do a little arrangement in it. You can do little centerpieces for like a Mother's Day luncheon or an Easter luncheon in these. These are really, really uncommonly nice. I'm not saying that the Dollar Tree doesn't get beautiful things. Wow. I didn't break it. But you guys see why I can't have glass, right? Wow, I can't believe I didn't break it. This is industrial strength, marina proof glass right there. You guys, I'm endorsing this vase 100%. You saw it here first. And then you guys, I passed these up a million times, but since we're in the dead of winter, I have been channeling my inner beach days. And these just remind me of beach weather and I just wanted to find more beautiful beach colored stuff to put on my beach themed shelf in my home. So these candles all say Serenity. They're beautiful glass and they do have this pretty little lid. And once they're all burned up and probably, you know what would be cute? Putting the little fairy garden beach themed items on this wood and yeah, that would be so cute. Like they have all kinds of little beat. They have like a seahorse and two other things and gluing it to the top of this when I'm using these as just canisters. I mean, I'm going to scrape off. You can just take this off, you know, with nail polish remover, you can get the word serenity off of it, but I actually don't mind the word serenity, but they all say the exact same thing. You can't see it on the white one but I just love the ombre effect that they make. And I think it's, I think they're super, super pretty. I'm going to tell you guys right now that the scent is, I don't even know if they're the same or different because their scent is very light. I'm sure they have no throw. Yeah, it's, they're practically, they definitely have a scent. I don't know if it's the same or different because it's so light. I know they're not going to have a throw, but I really bought them as little jars to store things in after I've used them. So, because they're just beautiful. In my last haul, I showed you guys the lavender purpley version of this super cute little trinket dish. Um, but I picked up the teal one for me and the purple one for my uh, friend Gretchen who just got engaged. I think these are beautiful. Something I really love about this cute little trinket box is this little heart that like kind of keeps it closed. That little addition really takes it up a notch. It's very, very pretty. It's an excellent item to buy a few of. And whenever you have a gift of jewelry to give someone or you order jewelry and it doesn't come in a box, put a little pretty piece of silk or fabric that you may have from something and make a little nest and put the present inside of here. I just think that that's a really cute way to um, gift things. Or you can put a little piece of tissue paper or even um, the straw for the Easter baskets that the Dollar Tree sells. You can put in here and put the gift in here and close it up or confetti. But these boxes are just so pretty. And for the money, even at $1.25, it's still worth it. Because if you go on Amazon to get a gift box, it's definitely more than $1.25 a piece to get like a pretty, pretty box to put a piece of jewelry in. So instead of getting them a paper box, get them this beautiful ceramic box and put the earrings or bracelet or whatever it is in here and they can use both. I just love these. If you watch my walkthroughs, then you know that I found these ages ago. And what these are, by the brand Hoverway, these are VR glasses. You just slide your smartphone into it. There is a QR code right here for you to check out some of the company's favorite VR apps. But there are also VR apps like on YouTube and stuff to participate in. And you don't have to pay anything for them. And it says that it holds smartphones up to 
5.6 inches and iPhone 6 plus. So, um, actually I don't know if it only works with iPhone because my husband used it and he has an iPhone. It does have a built in magnetic trigger. I guess if you're playing, um, shooting games, I'm not really sure, but, uh, my husband used it. He has an iPhone. So, um, I'm just now realizing that, is it only for iPhone? Because it says right here, iPhone 6. Let me know if you've used this with an Android. Because I was unaware of the fact that it actually said that. I don't, I think you could use it with either or. But I will definitely get to the bottom of it. If you have this on your wish list and it only works with iPhone, well, scratch it off if you don't have an iPhone. But you guys, for a buck and a quarter, this is a great deal. They don't sell for a hell of a lot online, um, but they definitely are a hell of a lot of fun. I'll say that much because for a buck and a quarter, you can't go wrong. You can definitely play virtual reality games for free or participate in a virtual reality experience. Let me say that actually, because to play games, you actually need like other accessories and they don't come with this, but it does have a trigger. So I'm wondering if that's for shooting. I don't know. I will need to do further investigation, but let me show you guys what it looks like. This one is Ombra and it's beautiful. It happens to be my favorite one that they gave. Um, there is also, I've seen so far, a beautiful blue one, like a cobalty blue, and one with a chevron pattern. If I remember, I'll take some pictures and I'll include the ones that I've seen in um, right here. You'll be seeing them while I'm still talking. But please let me know if you have used these with anything other than an iPhone. And the strap is adjustable and it does, they work great because my husband used it and loved it. Uh, so let me know what your thoughts on these are and experience with them is. If you enjoyed it, didn't enjoy it. They also come with a little cleaning cloth for the lenses, which is nice. And they're, they come bubble wrap. They come really nicely in the package. These make a nice little gift, guys. When I found the next items in the store, I screamed literally out loud, but it was almost like, you know, when you're like playing a slot machine and you get like a mini jackpot and then you play a little bit longer and then you get like a mega jackpot and you're like, whoa, thank goodness I didn't stop. Well, first I found these wipes and I was like, Ooh, I'm excited. 120 spa scriptions, face wipes for a dollar 25. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I mean, yes. We were getting wonderful deals on them when we were getting them for a dollar, but usually the dollar the Dollar Tree charges us a buck or a buck and a quarter for one pack of these. We're getting four. This is an undeniable, fantastic deal. And they are all the same. It's not a variety of them. They're all identical. And all of them are the multivitamin cleansing wipes. Let's take a look at one and see if they got cheap, you know, cheap on them. Oh, no. They're the same size as they usually are. This is definitely a fantastic deal. At $1.25, that's a no-brainer. I can't even think about ever buying the 30-pack again. Now that I know I've gotten 60 and that wonderful deal that we were getting a few months ago with the window. But now to get 120 a four-pack for a buck and a quarter, yes, that's amazing. So when I found those... I was already happy. And they also have the men's ones. I, I'm almost positive I picked up one pack of them. You get 90, but that's a variety pack. It's three different scents for $1.25. Also a fabulous deal for Father's Day or a men's gift basket coming up if they have a birthday or anything. Or if you have a teenager, that's a great gift as well. But then I moved a little further down that aisle and I saw this green bottle at the top and I was like... <gasps> I think that's the thicker, fuller hair. I screamed when I walked up to it because I have been looking for this forever. And I was so excited, so excited. This stuff last year, when I found the, the thicker, fuller hair, I was really excited last year too. I actually order thicker, fuller hair products every once in a while in my rotation. So to be able to find it 
and even I have not found the conditioner yet. I have found the thicker, fuller hair with caffeine um, energizer revitalizing shampoo. It's made with pure plant extracts and they're called Celluplex. Um, that's it right there. The bottle is wonderful. It smells wonderful. I really love the smell of their products. It is definitely like, it just reminds me of herbal essences, the smell. I love it. I really love the scent of this shampoo. And I also found the serum with caffeine energizer as well. And the thickening serums by Thicker Fuller Hair. I mean, it's their namesake. They work great. So I definitely endorse these products. You won't be disappointed. Last year when I found them, I definitely racked up on them and I gave them away to people for Mother's Day and I was really happy to find a lot of them. This time around, I don't see tons of them in the stores, so I don't think I'm going to be able to gift them. I was able to get a few for myself and a few good friends and I actually only found one bottle of the serum. So I hope to find like at least three or four to be able to give people little gifts. And I would love to find the conditioner. Does anybody out there know? Has anyone found the conditioner? Because I'm only seeing people hauling the shampoo. I wonder if the conditioner is just not out there. It's so crazy how the Dollar Tree does that. Last year, I did actually get the shampoo, the conditioner, the serum and something else, like four products, they made beautiful Mother's Day gifts. I was so happy. And they were everywhere, like in droves. Another item that I picked up that I actually have been looking for for a while are these picket fences. Now, I actually looked for these last year and missed the boat on them. And I was devastated because I have seen people do such cute DIYs with them. You can make your own picket fence, but why should you when you could buy it for a buck and a quarter? You can actually glue four of these together and make a really nice um, box to put floral in. And that would be really easy, just like that. And you make a really pretty little planter box and you could put beautiful florals in and whatever your heart desires. Or you could also just use three and make like a smaller little planter. And that would be kind of interesting as well, like a triangular one. But I've seen people do those wreaths where they put the fence on and then they put flowers in the wreath and it looks like the picket fence. And I just love that. And that's what I wanted this for last year and I just couldn't find it. And I actually made a picket fence, but by the time I made the picket fence, the dogs had eaten the flowers and I'm kind of so happy that I found these. So I bought four of them because I just think they're really cool when they're used in DIYs. I've seen people make like all four seasons a uh, wreath where they um, made like a winter scene with these, like, you know, like your picket fence is not only in the spring. It also could be snow covered and have like Christmas scene. I just think that that's so cute. And I remember seeing that a long time ago somewhere where the crafter had made four seasons of wreaths and it was like transitioning in her video. I don't, I wish I knew who did it. I actually don't even think I saw it on, I think I saw it on Facebook. I don't even, it was a video, but it was on Facebook. I don't even know if they were a YouTuber, but it was gorgeous. And it's always stuck in my mind how it would be so cute to make like a fall one like that, a spring one, a summer, just would be so cute. I don't think I'm going to go that far, but I did get four of them because they're kind of hard to come by. And I think they're really very cool. I did show these both. I don't, I think I did find them on the same day, actually. I have found them before, and every single time I found these, I broke them. <laughs> I've never found them in abundance. Every time I find them, I find like one here, one there, but I found both of these, and I actually bubble wrapped them. I went to their, um, I went to the decor section, and I dug in between all of the uh, stuff that they had there, and I found some bubble wrap, and I bubble wrapped these in my bag after I paid for them so that they could get home safely because... You guys, I, I mean, I've broken four of them already and it's, they're hard to find, but they're very beautiful. And as a matter of fact, I think this one is broken right now. 
wow, I hate that. I'm yeah, it's it's cracked, but it'll do. I'm going to put it in the bathroom. And this is the one that I like the most, of course, is in the shade bronze. And you guys, you see that right there. I like blush that color, that like dark berry color is really my favorite. I'll swatch that. It's so pretty. I love that color. That's like the kind of color that I like to wear. And then here is the, ooh, that is beautiful. So there, no, like that. So those are the colors. Wow, that end one is beautiful eyeshadow. The one in the middle would be, do perfect highlighter. And the one on the end is gorgeous blush. It's really like a bronzer. I would use it as blush. I love this. It's not leaving the house ever again because I don't want it to break and I really, really like it. This one is called Full Spectrum Cover Girl Rose and it's also really gorgeous. So we'll, we're going to swatch this one on the other hand. <laughs> also beautiful color. Isn't that because it's it's a deep rose. It's not like a pink and they have like a they're definitely metallic. These are gorgeous. So we'll swatch this on the other hand. Oh my gosh, I accidentally just scraped it. Whoops, had another little accident and just scraped it. See what I just did? I'm so accident prone, you guys. There it is, all swatched. Also gorgeous. And I could also use the one on the end for my inner corner which makes life a little easier, but I, I love these. So this line has lots and lots of shades. If you look it up, there's a ton of stuff in this full spectrum cover girl collection with these three dots. And we didn't get obviously all the components to it in the Dollar Trees, but having tried them out and seeing how beautiful and really complex these colors are. They're just not like your typical colors. It really makes me want to try other items from this collection. If you remember, I hauled this a while ago and this is Zodiac by the same line, but this is like nothing. There are like so many other eyeshadow palettes that are part of this whole full spectrum CoverGirl line. And this is the only one I ever found in the stores, but because I like the consistency and the pigmentation and everything about them so much, I've even thought about ordering some of them online because I just think it's a nice line. CoverGirl is good makeup. It's not super expensive, but it's definitely fun. Like I love this eyeshadow palette and I think I will love other ones from the line, but I definitely think that these are great products. So I thought that these were an amazing deal. First of all, they're in a metal box. That right there gets me every time. Anytime I see metal, I get happy. But I think that these make nice gifts for around Easter time. I do have plenty of family members who are Christians and love teaching their children their faith. So I think that these are great gifts. This one is Bible Stories for Children, the Old Testament, Moses and the Commandments. And it's a four DVD set. Um, with all kinds of stories for kids, but it's, I'm assuming done in a way that kids can enjoy it because it's a cartoon and, um, you know, it'll be up to the parents that I gift it to, to watch it and make sure that it's appropriate for what they believe in. But I just think it's a nice gift for Easter. So I picked up a couple of each just to have extras. Um, and then this one is the young Jesus, the new Testament Bible stories for children. Plus, included in this, with the purchase of this, you have the ability to print um, 125 pages of coloring book material for like a Bible study or something like that, or for your church. It also has four discs, but on this one, there are three DVDs and one CD, and on it are Bible camp songs. I just think that that's really cool, and I definitely think that that is worth $1.25. I picked up a couple of these clips. I showed them in a walkthrough a million years ago, but do you guys see how gorgeous these clips are? They are for real beautiful. Like, 
mesmerizing. And they're just beautiful stones on fabric on one of these clips. I love this clip. I'm definitely going to be wearing these ASAP. I think they're beautiful for $1.25, well spent. This may very well be the look I have going on tomorrow. I like how they look together. I love these sunglasses. These are actually from a haul I had the other day. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it had tons and tons of sunglasses in it. And these, I told you guys, were going to be some of my favorites, and they are. These are a rebuy for me, but these are amazing. And the reason that I rebought them, and I know I have another blue one, I picked up two blue and one of one in pink and one in lavender for future giveaways and for myself. These are amazing, amazing. I love, love, love them. And yeah, I just wanted to have a small little stockpile of these. I like these better than the other facial brush the Dollar Tree has, the spinning one. I just love these, period. Um, they work great. They don't die on you. I, I absolutely love them and I highly recommend them. Just the one with the silicone little bristles. The smooth massager one, I don't like that one. Also, I picked up another one of these tea tree oil and salicylic acid balancing face wash. I love this product. Number one, with that scrubber, it's like a whole experience. It feels great on the skin. It smells amazing. And I just really, it cleans my skin really well. But the smell, the tea tree oil, it kind of smells a little like pine salt, but I like, I don't know why, but I like it. It's that mintiness of it. It it definitely has that like mento lipto kind of like feeling and I enjoy it a lot. I really actually really like this. Well, I don't even know why I'm so surprised. Skin Nutrients products so far, I've never been disappointed with them. So this is definitely a thumbs up for me. During my walkthrough, I did share this Flower Beauty Eyeliner. It is a gel eyeliner. It's part of the Drew Barrymore Flower Beauty line, which everything I've ever found pretty much from that line, I almost everything I love. Um, but this glossy gel eyeliner in the color Galaxy, which is the black one, is incredible. And let me tell you guys right now, I wanted Serpent. And because I went, as soon as I found the um, Galaxy eyeliner and used it, I went online to see what other colors it comes in. And I saw the Serpent and I was like, oh, should I buy it? And then I was like, no, I'm not going to get it. I'm perfectly happy with the black one. Once I run out of the black, maybe I'll buy the green one. And then when I found it at the Dollar Tree, I was like having the best day the other day. I had such a great shopping day. I just found things that I just didn't expect to find. And those are the best days when you like are shopping and you may not be having the greatest day or maybe the weather is crappy and, and whatever. When you go into the Dollar Tree and you just find something you didn't even know you could find and it's just sitting there and it just all of a sudden a cash register went off in your head and you're like, oh, I just saved $11 by getting this here. I can spend $11. Oh, I'm going to get two. I just saved $22. And that's the kind of math I like because honestly, I probably would have bought these maybe on Mercari or something for like 15 bucks, but I got... I got them for $1.25 and I love it. I'm actually wearing it today. It is a beautiful green. I'm going to swatch it for you guys, but its name is Serpent VE7. I absolutely love this pencil. I love it. I don't like it. I love it. And uh, the other one is already open. I showed you guys. Of course, I got three of them because I love it. But um, let me swatch it. It is the perfect green. Do you guys see that? It's like, like an army green. A it is such, there you go. Do you guys see that? It's like a gorgeous deep green. It's not like an eighties, like fluorescent green, but it definitely picks up the light and it might not be conveying on the camera, but it definitely is different than the black. And I really love how it looks on my eyes. I just love it. There has been such an abundance of really yum alicious. See, there is the alicious, yum alicious socks at the Dollar Tree. A few, maybe like a couple, 
a few walkthroughs ago, I shared these diabetic women's socks. These are scrum delicious for your feet. They're so comfy. They, they don't bind you. They don't do any, they're really comfy. Even the colors are like comfy and cozy and worn in. They have this like muted, really pretty red that's like pink actually. And this really muted heathered blue. I love it. And this like muted heathered lavender. They're wonderful. If you have elderly people in your life who have circulatory issues, you need to get them these socks. They're just soft. They're so much nicer than any of the socks that the Dollar Tree ever has. These are a great, great item to pick up for real. And diabetic socks in the regular world are not a dollar twenty-five. Period. End of discussion. No name brand ones are like seven dollars and up. So a buck and a quarter a pair. You cannot go wrong. They're very nice quality. They wash well. Phenomenal find. Kudos to Dollar Tree for making them in these pretty pastels. That is a phenomenal item that they created. I'm actually very impressed with that, and I picked up several of those. Then, you guys, the brand name Sock Blitz continues. So many awesome items to share with you guys. Speaking of diabetic socks, wait till you guys get a load of these awesome diabetic socks. These go for, I think, $16.99 in Walgreens, and... um. They, they did have in my store the women's and the men's. Uh, I don't, okay, so the men's are crew socks and the women's are mid crew socks with copper technology. So at first I thought that the copper was like, you know, some sort of thing for like rheumatism or whatever. I know that I've seen like copper infused items are supposed to help with pain, but it says that the copper infused yarn in the sole helps protect against the growth of bacteria. An odor for socks. I don't know. They're non-binding, extra wide top, and a smooth toe seam, and cushion sole for shock absorption. I'll tell you what. I love that they have a smooth toe seam because I hate it when I can feel the seam in my sock. Like, I love the Snugadoo socks, but I wear them inside out because that seam would drive me crazy. I wear always wear them inside out, and then you don't get the fuzzy things between your toes. I'm just a weirdo like that. But so this is the sock, you guys. First of all, it's like, for it has no, it is not going to bind. It's not going to leave you those itchy little lines. None of that is happening here. And they are crazy cushy and they mean it. Like, do you guys see that? That looks like a very, very comfortable, very nice warm sock. And this sock was 17 bucks. To get it for a buck and a quarter, you cannot go wrong, you guys. Perfect for your ankle booties. The color is nice. Actually, they look cool, actually. They, I like how they look. They're really a neat sock. I did buy several, several types of socks to give away. There's two packs of peds that are knee highs to wear with your boots. Those are some beautiful socks. They have like a pattern in them. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a lacy pattern. There, do you guys see that? It's like a really pretty kind of brocade pattern. They're they're really, really beautiful socks and they will definitely um, keep you from snagging your skin with the zipper of your boot. And you know, if you don't wear socks that go all the way up to your knee, it does sometimes if they're tight on your leg, they do make your skin itchy. So it's really nice to have these long knee high socks it looks really attractive on the leg and, and it takes away the possibility of having that itchy feeling. They had these Therapy Plus. I want to say that these are also from Walgreens, but I think they might sell these at Walmart as well. And these are just non-binding ladies anklets. I do plan on sending some of these diabetic socks to my aunt as well as the pretty pastel ones. I definitely got her a set and I'm going to send her some of these non-binding ladies anklets as well as those cute spring um, metal things I showed you guys in my last haul. I have like a whole box going on for my aunt. They also have these men's sport quarter non-binding like therapy plus socks as well. But these are like diabetic socks also, but they're crazy cushioned. They're non-binding. Very nice white sock. Really very 
very luxurious. It has like the mesh so that your foot doesn't sweat a lot. Really nice quality socks, guys. I just found one pair of these and I'm going to ship these out to a friend. They're in a size eight. They're actual gold toe brand slippers. They didn't have the little plastic thing was snapped broken open, but they're not used. They do have the little Dollar Tree tag inside of them and they have the gold toe label, you guys. For a dollar twenty-five, these are actual slippers. Like, how nice is that? You guys hear that? That's a real slipper, little house slipper for a buck and a quarter. Nice quality. They have like a memory foam type of thing going on on the inside. That is a great buy for a dollar twenty-five. I can't believe some of the things that are coming through the Dollar Tree right now. Like all kinds of random apparel. While we're on the subject of slippers, why don't we talk about these cushy foot? Because these are awesome. These were really popular a few years ago. Well, a few years ago, like maybe decades ago, when I used to wear high heels and go out at night and I had a pair of these. Um, I loved them actually, but um, I don't really wear heels anymore. And uh, they're very cozy. So what these are is basically like a little foam heel slipper with a cute ballet shape to carry in your pocketbook in case your feet are hurting you and throw on. The thing is that years ago when I wore these, I was able to wear flats and not be in pain. My foot cannot handle walking around in a flat shoe anywhere because I just need to have more support than that and like a little bit of an arch. I need an arch or it's not comfy. But what I love to do with these, because you guys see the massaging, and they call this like massaging foam. It is very thin. You can't really walk miles in these on like a city street. But if you want to like, if you're at a party or something and your feet are killing you and you want to walk around indoors, because they will, if you put these out on the concrete, they will grind down. It's just foam. But I like to put lotion on my feet, put these on. And then when I have to get up or whatever, just to walk around in my house where the floors are clean, it massages my feet. And then before I fall asleep, like, you know, I'll be watching TV, laying down. I moisturize my feet. I put this on. This foam kind of makes it percolate into my skin. And then when I get up to use the bathroom or whatever, um, I have something on my feet. So I'm not going to slip and kill myself with the lotion on my feet. And then before I go to bed, I just kick them off in the bed. And that way the dogs don't get them because this is like the kind of stuff that my dogs would tear to pieces and you could just throw them in the wash. But the foamy material really makes the lotion go right into your foot, which I think is amazing. And these retail for like $14.99. They do have like a little bit of elastic on the back and um, I'm a size 10 and the package says that it fits size nine to 10 and it fits me perfectly. I absolutely love them and I love this print. I love everything about these. They also have these little black sock by Gold Toe. And what you get is this pretty gray boot kind of sock like anklet. And what you get is this solid gray one with this wide band that's sort of, um, it makes it look like a little ruffle. And you also get this beautiful, beautiful pair with the burgundy flowers. Those are really gorgeous. You get two pairs of socks for $1.25. Gold toe, super pretty, pretty socks. Definitely worth. I, and it says on the package, elegant innovation. And I have to say that they are. They're really elegant socks for a buck and a quarter to get two pairs of socks by such a great brand name. It's been said before, but I can't help but say it again. These were the best finds of the year. I am never sick of looking at gold toe socks and buying them because it's freezing in New York. Um, when you can give someone that doesn't have much a nice bunch of socks, you're really giving them something because your socks aren't even going to be dry when you come in from outside. So it's amazing to get quality socks like this for $1.25. I did finally find a pair of these fuzzy soul ocean gold toe socks in the striped version because I have the burgundy and I have the teal but I found just one of these striped ones and you guys these are so amazing these are my favorite socks in the world every pair that I have 
makes my heart happy. And sometimes I put these fuzzy socks on to sleep in. And sometimes I put on my slippers to moisturize my feet with. I moisturize my feet every night, but I choose different things to use. Um, if it's cold, I might leave these on all night because they're cozy. If I'm going to be getting up and down, I'll put the little flats on. But I love having socks like that, like my nighttime ritual socks. Then I did get some of these to add into the giveaways that I'm going to be giving at the shelter because I'm sure that there are people who need uh, compression socks. I, I don't wear them, but I'm sure there are people out there that need them and like a little pattern in them as well. And it says that they're moderate compression socks. Switching gears a little bit, I have a couple of CDs to share with you guys. I found this James Blunt CD at the Dollar Tree, and I actually love this album. Um, it has the song 1973 and Annie, and I'll Take You, I'll Take Everything. The song I'll Take Everything and 1973 and Annie. I really like those songs. I used to have this CD. I don't know what happened to it, but... For $1.25, I can't wait to pop it in my CD player and play it and just remember that I love, I love the song 1973. Actually, I love the song, but the fact that it's like a year after the year I was born kind of makes me like it even more because I don't know why, but I like just like anything that has to do with the 70s. So I just love that song and I was psyched to find that CD at the Dollar Tree. And then I did find this. Uh, Nicholas Cage's Vampire Kiss and someone had mentioned that they were looking for it and I had never seen it but I love this movie so I couldn't resist I had to buy it too this is a great movie I love Nicholas Cage and this is a really cute dark oh does it say dark comedy oh there you go dark comedy again I love dark comedy very good movie Definitely, I give that movie a thumbs up. Let me know if you've seen it and how you feel about that movie or Nicolas Cage. And then um, I did buy some of these like relaxation CDs. They're really kind of good to do spa treatments to. So this one is called Oceanside Stress Relief. I was listening to a Zen one the other day and I really enjoyed it. I actually wrote it in my premiere that because I have been I've have been having a lot of breathing issues um, we're not sure exactly what's going on with me, but I'm seeing a respiratory therapist and I have to do like a breathing treatment and um, it could be related to my allergies. We're not really sure what's going on, but um, I am feeling much better now, but I start to lose my voice from the treatments and I was writing in my premiere in my comments that I was doing a beauty mask and that I was listening to a Zen CD, and I was. But I also picked this one up. It's one of these Lifescapes Oceanside Stress Relief Dreamy Natural and Soothing. I can't wait to listen to this one too. It's nice to just put it into uh, my husband's, some one of his gaming system plays CDs. So I just pop it into that, and I just listen to it while I'm doing a facial, and it's really enjoyable. I did pick this up, Table for Two, Timeless Romance, to give to a friend of mine who I know is going to love this CD. It has the song, At Last, In the Wee Small Hours of the Morning, Stormy Weather, All the Way, uh, Only Have Eyes for You, Someone to Watch Over Me, Un Unchained Melody, In a Sentimental Mood, Oh Baby Baby, Smoke Gets in Your Eyes, which I love that song embraceable you, the shadow of your smile, body and soul in the still of the night. And when a man loves a woman, this is a good CD. And I absolutely know my girlfriend is going to love it. So I had to pick that up for a buck and a quarter. I absolutely love buying these CDs. So I bought this a thousand and one nights, the story of Aladdin, eight magical tales. Now there are a whole lot of like movies on here. Some of them are really old, but what really caught my eye, and I bought this, and I don't know what else I may like on it, it has, I saw at the very bottom that it has Popeye meets Aladdin and his wonderful lamp, and I remember watching that when I was little, so I was like, oh wow, I want to see that. It has two other Aladdin type cartoons, and then it has like five movies that are Aladdin stories. They might really be interesting. They seem old, 
school. They seem to be older movies. One of them is a mini series called Arabian Nights. I don't know anything about it, but there's a lot of information on this. But really, I bought it for that one Popeye cartoon. And I don't know. I'm going to definitely probably look at it. I'm going to pop it in, see what it has to offer. Watch the Popeye cartoon. Show it to my son, who's going to think it's stupid. And then I'll probably donate it. But I had to get it for the Popeye thing because you don't get to see Popeye all that often. And I remember watching that cartoon when I was really little. And then the last couple of things that I want to share with you guys. And at $1.25, it's not a great deal, but I couldn't not buy them because look at how cool that handle is. It is such a fun disposable cutlery set. They come in ombre like amethyst looking clear to like this beautiful purple amethyst and then teal to this beautiful purple color which is this one right here I used it to stir my coffee and I've been rinsing it out and reusing it because it's just so pretty I love how those look I'm definitely gonna have these in my spring hot cocoa bar I just love them that's it guys that's all I can cram into this video before it just gets beyond too long. I already have people constantly complaining that my holes are too long. So I'm going to end the video right here and say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for you guys that are here religiously. Although I do want to say that it has been brought to my attention by many of my loyal subscribers who have been emailing me and texting me to let me know that they are not getting notified when I upload a video or have a premiere. I think the solution to that is to unsubscribe and resubscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, but if you unsubscribe, please make sure to resubscribe. And um, that should do the trick. Uh, I hope it works. Please do share my videos and give them a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video because somehow YouTube has become a little screwy lately. And if you guys do that, it will definitely help my channel grow and will allow me to continue to be able to share what I find with you guys through these awesome giveaways that I've been doing. So with that, I'm going to end the video by saying to you guys, like I always do, stay safe and stay savvy, guys. Bye-bye.